What is up guys, Nico here and welcome back to another video here on the channel. For today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use your Android phone or your iPhones as a webcam in your PC. All right, so again, this method that I'll show you will work with either an Android or an iPhone, but you can only use it on a PC and not a Mac. I don't know why uh, the Mac downloads doesn't appear on their website, so I'm assuming you could not use this in Mac. And the software that you will need to use to be able to do this is called IV Cam. So first of all, you need to download IV Cam. It is on my phone already. So you just have to go to the Play Store. Yeah, Play Store. Download IV Cam Webcam. That's the name in the Play Store. Just click open. Hold on, it's hot. So apologies if you can hear the fan, but it's really hot right now here in the studio. Now, as you can see, um, I've opened IV Cam on my phone, but I need to open IV Cam also in my desktop. Now, if you haven't installed IV Cam yet, you could just go to your browser, type IV Cam PC. It will bring you first result, or you should go to the site that says e2esoft.com. Click that. And then here, download for Windows. So as you can see in the app area, it says it's available on the App Store and the Google Play, uh, Google Play Store. So I'm assuming, yes, you can use this. You can use this on iPhones. I haven't tried it because I don't have an iPhone. But as you can see here in this area, it is only available for Windows. Click this button. Installation is pretty quick, pretty simple. Uh, so I don't need to run you through this. And once you have downloaded IV Cam, let's just go out. Open IV Cam on your computer. Now, sometimes it will connect automatically, but right now, as you can see, it's not. So just click play here in your phone, in your smartphone. And there you go. If you can see both my screens right now, my phone and my um, desktop screen, they are both showing the same thing. Now this is, I don't know if this is the default, but right now it is using my uh, front facing camera. The front facing camera of my um, phone. But if you press this icon, this camera icon, you can switch uh, to different views or different cameras. So when I click it, it's using now the back cameras. This is a wider view. Uh, I think this is a resolution change. And a, yeah, a worse resolution change. <laughs> And this is probably the best. I think this is the best camera quality out of all the choices. And when I click it again, then you go back to the front facing camera. So it's that easy. It's that easy to use. All you need is IV cam on your phone, IV cam on your desktop, and Ivy Cam is a free software. You can use it, but I think you don't get a 1080p if you are on the free version. That's why I purchased. And for you to have a like a purchased version, all you have to do is buy either or, or pay for either the smartphone app or the desktop app. What I purchased is the phone app so that if I have my phone and I'm using another computer, then I could, you know, utilize that paid version quality, like the 1080p resolution in my phone. 
because if I purchase the desktop or, or yeah, the computer version, the computer software, then if I am outside and I don't have my computer and I want to use my phone as a webcam, then I won't be able to utilize that higher resolution. So I'm assuming that I have my phone more with me always rather than my computer. So I purchased the app in the phone instead of the one in the PC. Now, the next thing that I'll show you is how to use IV Cam on Zoom or other similar platforms. So first, again, open the IV Cam. Now, as you can see, or I don't know if, if, if you saw that, but it was uh, just a black screen. It's, it's on sleep. And if it does that on your phone, just tap your phone and it will show again the preview of IV Cam. Now, once you're connected to the computer, you open Zoom if that's what you're using. And it depends on you know how you choose uh, your cameras in let's say Google Meet or Zoom or even apps like StreamYard. So just go to the camera settings of that platform, go to video, and as you can see, it is already selected uh, IV Cam. Um, let's choose a different one. Sony camera, imaging edge. If you are using, you know, the Sony cameras on a USB, this is what you use. Again, if IV Cam is not the default camera, just go to your camera settings and choose E to E soft IV Cam and boom. Now that once you log in your call, that is what you are going to use now of course it's not the same quality as a mirrorless camera well that's because my phone is not really that you know high end in terms of the camera but it is you know a step up in the built-in webcam of my laptop so this is if you want to improve the quality of your webcam but you don't want to buy a dedicated webcam and you don't have a like a mirrorless camera that can act as a webcam then the best solution is to use your smartphone as your webcam all right so that is it for today's quick video on you know how to use your smartphone as a you know external webcam for zoom calls google meets you know all those online meetings especially now that almost all our meetings are happening that way so i hope this is helpful for you guys and if you're still here watching thank you thank you very much if you like this video i'd highly appreciate if you'd hit that like button also if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you'll get notified when I upload new videos. Also, like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!